if you had a crystal ball now mm. and you were to say, right, I'm going to predict the winner, who would it be? City. Still City. And take what are your, your reasons? time about it, Tim. <laughs> yeah, 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 so I think about that. Just, uh, <laughs> take, a, take, a sec- just take a second, Tim. <laughs> We've got a lot of time to fill here. <laughs> no, <laughs> genuinely, like if they, for example, I mean, they won the season, they won the league last year mm. without Erling Haaland. Now they've got Erling Haaland in yeah. it. But it's, is it just about Erling Haaland? No. I mean, it's not even a case of if they keep Erland fit. I think it'll make it easier for them. Um, they've shown they can win the Premier League without a centre forward. You know, you just find a solution. They've got the best manager in the league. Um, and, he, and he finds a way to win. Um, it'd be good for the Premier League if someone else did actually win it. I mean, because it would be, what would it be, four and five years? Yeah. You know, it's it's quite, it's yeah, very, no, very no. dominant. Um, so, listen, I, I just think... They're incredible. Uh, and I like I said previously, early on in the show, they entertain as well. So it's never a chore watching Man City play, is it? I mean, it's just brilliant, fantastic players. They've obviously got an incredible goal scorer and the support act's not bad either. You know, when you've got players like De Bruyne and Foden and Grealish, mm-hmm. you know, in behind Gundogan, you know, you can go on and on and on. And in, in Cancelo, he's meant to be a fullback. I mean, he could play <laughs> midfield for any team in the league. So... No, they're just incredible, and I don't see anyone stopping them. I just think they've got so much, so much strength in depth. Mm. Tone, what do you think? City for you? Well, it's well? hard to make an argument or a case for anybody else. I mean, the reason Arsenal are being talked about is because they've had an amazing start to the season. But there's a lot to go. Um, I think it helps them slightly that the Europa League is sort of done and dusted out their group phase. They only need a little bit more. Mm. They've got three games before Christmas. That they, they, He can field his second string team. They haven't got a difficult run of fixtures still before the World Cup starts. If they keep churning them points out, it's difficult to make an argument. What we've seen from Arsenal has been exceptional Mm. so far. And their worst performance was last weekend, or this weekend just gone, against Leeds. Leeds played the best I've seen them all season, and Arsenal still got over the line and got a result. Mm. I just mentioned the league table there, Chelsea on 19 points, but they do have a game in hand. So if they win that one, 20-21-22, they're Mm. only one point behind... Man City and Spurs on the same number of games as them. When you've got so like City are your top team for both of you now, they're gonna win the Premier League in, in your opinion. Arsenal, Spurs, Chelsea, Liverpool as well managing to get a win against Manchester City at the weekend. Who is more likely to challenge, do you think, out of the chasing pack? Oh, I think it's wide open. I really do. Uh, I think I agree with Cass. I think Arsenal have done brilliantly. I think Mikel's been given the time there. He's obviously won the FA Cup, but helped him get the time after. Um, people are asking questions about him I think he's answered them questions I think he's got a squad of players what he wants now one of the youngest teams in the league playing attractive football um, you know you, you, you're enjoying it in the moment if you're a season ticket holder at, at Arsenal um, and not only that he's winning um, and finding different ways to win grinding out results you know it wasn't their best performance at Leeds tough place to go in and road you know come away with maximum points when you're holding on at the death mm-hmm. you know it's a real different way to win and, and hmm. You well, know, you can go some... back to the year you won the league with Blackburn. Yeah. There were games that you clearly didn't play very well in. You've mm. gone, we've got three points on the board. That's it. It's just finding yeah. the way. You know, yeah. you've only got goal scorers, prolific goal scorers like we had. Which obviously, Shearer, it mm. helps, goes a long way. Mm. Um, I think their signings have been fantastic. I mean, Saliba coming back from, from loan yeah. and, you know, Zinchenko's outstanding. I mean, left back, he's not a left back. He's a midfield player as well, isn't he? You know, he's got such ability on the ball. And Jesus is the icing on the cake. I mean, he's, yeah. he's, he's got a bit of love now. He's being cuddled um, and he's showing it. I mean, he's absolutely fantastic. Um, and our Arsenal fans are enjoying it. I still won't rule, rule out Tottenham. I think you've got a manager there who knows course and distance, knows how to get there. Um, Criticised at the moment for, for the style of play, but... If I'm Antonio Conte, I'm not listening to that because it's not his fault. Used to be at Tottenham, used to be a criteria. You know, you have to play a certain way. And no one's asking uh, or questioning Antonio Conte at that football club, let me tell you. I mean, he's got... He's out of contract at the end of the season. They want him to stay. All the fans want him to stay. Um, I I agree with some of the criticism. I really do. But it can... It's only... It can only come into effect if they stop... Lose, stop winning games, you know. And at the moment, if you're a manager, if you win, everything's good, everything's right. If you if you don't win the games, then they start questioning your performances. A bit like when Jose was there, it was top of the league under Jose Mourinho, um, and everyone was happy. It was all about we're winning. We haven't won since 2008. As soon as the results started going a little bit wonky, then they started criticising the way he was playing. The same will happen with Antonio Conte, but hopefully, this guy looks like he's got real hunger and desire still in his belly. And um, he's proven everywhere he's been, he's won. 
Mm. Um, Tony, I'm, I'm obviously going to talk about your comments as well, but you're coming from this perspective as someone that isn't a Spurs fan. So mm. for someone that just watches football, um, it is a no. little bit... <laughs> My point wasn't criticising the manager well, or the players. No, 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 it wasn't. My, my point was they're a hard watch sometimes. Mm. And and say sometimes I was at the Wolves game and I Wolves lost 1-0, but Wolves can't buy a goal, didn't play particularly well Spurs. I think the, the fact that they get so many people behind the ball and they mm. lose it, that it's... It, com- it was it was difficult at the weekend watching them against Everton. Mm. And Everton had two really good chances in the game in the first half. Yeah. I'm thinking, everyone's using the word if about Tom. If Tottenham get going and you know um, can improve on their performance. And I thought, well, maybe this is their best because of the way they're playing. Yeah. The structure of the team. And you could say, well, that's how Antonio Conte... This guy's a winner. So I'm, I'm not questioning his winning ability. Yeah. I just said it was a very hard watch and yeah. it has been at times a hard watch to see it watch. Players. I think he would say to he's not there to entertain. I, yeah. think, I really would think he would say that. I know it's an entertainment's business, but in Antonio's eyes, it's about winning. And the Tottenham fans would be happy if they're picking up a trophy. You know, it's Carabao Cup would be a success. Mm. You know, it's, oh, it's not the trophy everyone wants. It's the bottom of the pile. But it's, it's something where they haven't had. So let's go and do it. I think he's got every you, chance okay. to go and do it. Yeah, you you know you've managed Tim, and you know you're a manager, and you you have your way of playing. Now there'll be a number of season ticket holders mm. who go to games who feel like they need to be ent- ent- entertained yeah. as well as winning football because yeah. the big football club, sixty thousand mm. people, you know. And you talked about Pep and world's yeah. best manager. He entertains and yeah. wins. Now. Shouldn't that be the dynamic? I of- think it's been so long, Tony, since they lifted yeah. any trophies that, that I think everyone in that wonderful stadium now would just sacrifice art- artistic merit for for uh, for so, points. So, but you will moan if you lose. Absolutely, yeah. And he's, and he's got he's yeah. got to get ready for that. You know yeah. that that will happen. I think at the weekend it helped him out by Richardson getting injured. I thought they were a bit stout with three up top. Mm. Basuma come in, you release Hoybier yeah. and and Benton Kerr, and he brings mm. Son in towards Kane. You know, and and they start combining. Well, they went I as think, a two in the end, didn't they? Absolutely, yeah. and the three in midfield. I think they're yeah. going to need that away at Old Trafford tomorrow night. Talk Sport Breakfast with Laura Woods, Monday to Wednesday morning, 6 till 10, on AM, on DAB, via the Talk Sport app, and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.